hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening or depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel it's so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again guys for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you we know yesterday uh, we got a report um, from Edo State that Governor Gordon Obaseki asked all the local government chairmen to hand over to um, all of them. They should ensure they hand over before the 5th of March, which is Friday. And um, that um, um, their, their tenor, we know that their tenor uh, was expiring, has run out because they were all um, elected in 2018. So their tenor has expired and it is time for another set to come in. Right now, the outgoing um, council chairman has just uh, made a, a remark about um, Governor Gordon Obaseki. He's made um, some remark about um, the governor. We'll bring you all of those details shortly. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Thank you once again, guys. Yes, we'll get into the news now and grab all of the details. The outgoing chairman of Oriado local government area, Jenkins Osunde, has commended Governor Gordon Obaseki of Edo State for what he described as the uncommon political philosophy of the governor in revolutionizing the third tier administration in the state. In a press briefing in Benin City, to round off his tenor, Osunde said that Governor Obaseki gave them an unambiguous charge during their inauguration on March 5th, 2018, to ensure that they changed the despicable narratives of poor and corrupt performances by the councillors, adding that Oriado local government internalized the clarion call of the governor and consequently changed the trajectory of affairs in the third tier administration. He said, we have established a wholesome ethos and new civics of public service for the local government. During my tenure, workers and retirees were no longer traumatized, waiting to be paid their wages and pensions. Our council dedicated premium attention to education by building blocks of primary school classrooms and regularly donating teachers and pupils furniture. The welfare of teachers and the future of pupil in our care were of ultimate priority to the council. The Oriado chairman further stated that the council sought to create a synchronized paradigm of the governor's performance at the local government level by accelerating efforts in infrastructure development, especially in the construction and rehabilitation of roads and amenities to rural areas. During my tenure, we constructed 60 social economic boosting sand field and graded roads, just as we significantly expanded access to clean water and electricity in a bid to engender integrated rural and urban development. Osunde, who is also the state chairman of the Association of Local Governments of Nigeria, Algon, concluded his address at the conference by saying that the 2018 to 2021 class of local government chairmen were fortunate to have served under a governor with a people-oriented and progressive trajectory of public service. Wow, this is interesting. You know, it's all it's it's at a point where you know after you've worked with someone, it's at a point of exit that you can attest, you can really say of a truth that this um, this person um, it was a privilege to work with this person. That's the same position that um, this uh, Oriado local government uh, um, chairman was is he, he is right now. That's the position he is. You know, yesterday Obaseki gave the charge that they should all hand over. And at that time, it looked like that order was very harsh. And uh, uh, remarks and um, comments were pouring in, like, what's going on? Why <laughs> is there any uh, anything going on? Why the hurry? But um, so far, so good. The, the local government chairman, they are okay with all of um, all that Governor Gordon Obaseki has stated. You can see he's happy. He has no, he has no, um, he has no no problem whatsoever. He doesn't have any concern. Because he has stated that um, Governor Gordon Obaseki is someone who has um, an uncommon political philosophy. That one is a big word. That's the title he gave to Governor Gordon Obaseki after commending him that he saw an error, that their error from 2018, where they were sworn in 2018 to 2021. You know, their tenure um, technically will be ending tomorrow, March 5th. They have no regrets whatsoever. And they are assuring the people that uh, Obaseki is the people's man. So that is what they are stating. And we know how these tiers of governments are. 
the local governments um, directly, they, they represent the people directly in, in the, the various local governments. You know, they pass across any concern by the by indigenous by people in that locality and then um, to them they, they they can say that um, they've met with if not all most of the needs of the people as a result of um governor gordon obaseki's um, people's um, orientation that he's got a different philosophy the obaseki is different you know uh as against what the all progressive congress is stating yesterday the all progressive congress came up um, with um um, stating that they've rejected Obaseki's sole administratorship. Yes, that was the word they used. That it's been three months now since um, Obaseki is swearing in. And Obaseki is still operating as a sole administrator, still yet to form his cabinet. And they're stating they're not okay with that. But um, the people of Edo State have reacted. After we reported that news, you know, a lot of reactions um, we got was that... Um, they don't have a problem with um, Obaseki's style of leadership because the way APC put it was that the people of Edo State are not happy. They are not satisfied with what you are doing now. You can't rule the state by yourself. You need um, a team. You need a, 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 a cabinet. And the people responded that speak for yourself and don't speak for us as Edo people. We are okay. Just say your party, APC, is not um, okay with what is going on. But anyway, guys, uh, it's interesting to note, really interesting to note, because um, this would have been an opportunity, because if the council chairman, their tenure is over, they really don't have anything to lose for wanting to just uh, um, uh, um, make Obaseki feel good or just uh, um, say what is not. They don't really have any, they don't stand, they don't have anything to lose. So I, I want to believe that what um, Jenkins Osunde has just stated, he actually means it, and that is what it is, because he has stated that um, he really enjoyed the tenor from uh, March 5th, 2018 to 2021. And that uh, during this period, you can see the developmental strides, all of the things that um, they, they brought to the local government, that's Oriado local government, that the, the community have got access to clean um, water supply. They've got, uh, uh, from time to time, they were able to, Add additional blocks of um, primary school classrooms and they, they added um, furniture for the, the pupils as well and they ensured that teachers and pensioners were not um, traumatized anymore they were not um, in a difficult situation or struggling seriously as to how to get um, their pay that they, they, they you just listed all the achievements and also in in conclusion in or in summary he's stating that um, all of this wouldn't have been possible without the help of um, governor Gordon Obaseki my people, let's hear your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye for now and God bless.